Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the final cut bro with a quick tutorial showing you some audio basics to really enhance your audio for your videos and show you how to save effects presets so that you can send them to friends or you can just continually use them on your videos. So if I play this little tutorial piece back, it won't do anything until we add in some numbers here. It's definitely very, very muddy. So I want to clean it up and get some clarity out of my voice and make it sound much more professional. So the first thing I am going to do is actually select our clip and I want to put it into a compound clip so we'll push option G and we'll push OK so now I'm going to make all my changes within this compound clip so that when I make edits outwardly all of the effects will be applied within the compound clip and I don't have to change each individual clip let's jump into the compound clip now if we go up to our equalization we'll select that this is the first area I like to start for adding clarity to my voice quick disclaimer I'm not a sound engineer or anything so I don't actually know and understand everything that's happening I just know what works well for my particular voice and I have a really basic third grade understanding of this so um, with that being said let's go ahead and I'll show you what I do to clean up my voice so the very first thing I like to do is pull out the 32 Hertz because the human voice cannot even approach that as that's what I've been told um, so there's no point in having those frequencies coming through in case you know it muddies up your sound in some way the next thing I like to do is add in a little bass which is in this 64 hertz range and the 128 hertz range so I just do it very very subtly after that I actually leave the 256 where it's at and I go to the 512 and bring that down about to this negative 12 db line here and I do the same with the 4000 hertz range and these two are gonna really add a lot of clarity to the voice so those two right there and then after that, I just add in a little bit in the 8,000 and the 16,000, and that will definitely improve the high ends of my voice. So now let me show you what it sounds like before. It won't do anything until we add in some numbers here. So, and then I will show you after. It won't do anything until we add in some numbers here. So you can really hear the clarity that's coming through in my voice much better. After that, I like to jump over to the effects panel here and I just look up the voice over enhancement compressor and that's just built right into Final Cut Pro and you can dial in the settings however you like here but I will say that um, I actually just kind of like how it sounds right out of the box so if I play it now it won't do anything until we add in some numbers and I take it off it won't do anything until we add in you can just hear the punchiness that it adds to my voice the very last thing I like to do is raise up the volume so I'll just push control and plus and if you have a mini keyboard like a laptop or something you also have to push the function key and that we'll just bring that up to like six or seven db and now I play it it won't do anything until we add in some numbers here so, so it's nice and loud so you could add in limiters and noise gates and all that sort of thing if you wanted to but I'm not going to get into that today the last thing I'm going to show you is how to actually save this as an effects preset so you don't have to jump through these hoops every time you make a video so if you just select your recorded screen here go to save effects preset right there and that will bring up this dialogue here and if we just name this the tutorial voiceover and then just make sure that all the attributes that you want to save are saved here so we got our effects and our volume and our EQ we will just push save it's gonna ask if I want to replace it because I've already made this before and voila now every time I have a tutorial let me clear this with command shift X we'll remove all the effects off this clip every time I make a tutorial I can just look up my tutorial voiceover slap that bad boy on there and if I push play it won't do anything until we add in some numbers here so all the effects are added exactly as they were now let's say you want to maybe send this to a friend which by the way my patreon subscribers will actually get a download link to this exact EQ that I set up up here you can right click and go to reveal in finder and what that will do is show us the folder that this effects preset is in and what that will do is show us the folder that this effect preset is saved into so it's in library application support pro apps effects presets 
and tutorial. So you could just literally text this to yourself or email it to a friend and all they need to do to install it is take the exact same file, go into their library, which if it's invisible for you, you can go up to go and push option and that will pop it up here. Go to application support, find pro apps, and then go to effects preset and plop it in there. It should also be noted that you can do this with color grading or you can do this with, you know, just random effects that you make for your videos to hopefully save you some time. So I hope that was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing the like button, consider subscribing and consider checking out my Patreon where I have some really cool downloads for you with many more to come. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Monday for a Motion Monday tutorial. Thank you.